So that's kind of like what do you do here? You spit the shit on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> just go for the thunder hide. <laughs> Boom. Do you have an answer? No, you're a red hero. You don't have an answer. My creep is a hero by itself. <laughs> A really bad hero. <laughs> really bad. Yeah, I feel we have to watch a Winnie's Winnie's game. I mean, we gotta chase the rainbow. Yeah, yeah man, we gotta chase the rainbow. We follow we... the rainbow to the pot of gold. <laughs> because we might not see this in the next round. Okay, so the flop. <laughs> wow. It you have like little faith. Winnie has lost uh, one of his heroes, and so has like so can I like Luna, and Vinny has lost. Zeus. The loop. Let's look at the decks. Yeah. Bristleback killings, killing stuff. Yes. Yeah, man. Bristleback doing his job. Your everyday Bristleback stuff. So Vinny has quite some nice late game cards with the Thunder Hide Alpha and Thunder Hide Pack and Thunder God's Wrath. A lot mm. of thunder going on in this deck. Uh, that'll help them out a lot, especially with Intimidation, which will of course open up a space in front of a damage dealing priest or hero. Three, three Iron Fork go mine. From, from Winnie, two paydays. Three Start. Iron Fork and two paydays. Two vestures. You sure that's well. not a contract deck right there? That's a very solid item, item, item deck with, with three gold mines, I would say. Blink Dagger and two vestures. Wow. And the vestures are going to be important because, as you can see on Candlelight side, they do have a time of triumph, but vestures just reduce the amount of TOT damage to one per each hero. Yep. So the siege damage is not going to matter. Completely but... neutering, neutering time of triumph. Not completely, but it's still a massive, almost, massive almost. change, yeah. right? I would say that uh, it seems like uh, Vinny has quite a lot of good late game uh, stuff. But uh, Candlelight doesn't seem to have that many, except for time of triumph. Time of triumph had a storm, mystic flare, eclipse, uh, kind of considered But those are board games, it's not, it's not really game features. It's not new. It changed the game. It flips the board. So I, right. I would say uh, Eclipse it's a late game card because it gets better as it goes longer. Yep. Yeah. That's a current, current board state. So kind of like we, wins the first lane pretty much. Winnie pretty much has the second lane. Wait, after he plays something, probably the soul, soul, the soul venom right now. Do you tower barrage here? <laughs> uh... That's 10 damage, you're giving up. 12, 12, right? 12 no, 10 yeah, damage, yeah. yeah. 10 damage, giving up. I think you play the Soul Venom. I think... Play the Ghost Lane Spider. Uh, that's an argument that you can save the Soul Venom for the first lane. Uh, if, you want, if you want to drop your Zeus on the first lane, that will stall a lot of damage. For now. So as kind of like what do you do here. You spit the shit on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Okay. it, laughs> well, Mr. Yeah. has now the flu. Now maybe is much smarter. Well, I guess locking him out of, of locking him out of black. Chase the rainbow, indeed. That's the problem with rainbow decks, right? Uh, sometimes yep. you just can't play cards because you got no heroes on that lane. Exactly. Yeah. Rainbow decks essentially just have one. Ooh. One of four heroes. Very interesting. They so went. Uh, it's going all in the right lane. Yeah, uh, that will prevent Thundergore's Wrath from being used until the second lane, which is probably why Candlelight is playing so hard in the first lane. Winning the first lane against blue means that you don't have to worry about the immediate Thundergore's Wrath in the first lane. Yep. Yeah, right. We see Candlelight reading the deployments and putting some extra oomph to the last lane. And, and now we see kind of like, uh, the, this is where the ducks here becomes really strong, where you can, if you put it on the first lane, you can win the first lane, you can overcome it on the first lane, and then you search something else, probably the best bristle back to the, to the other lane to, to, to help out the other lanes. Hmm. You could even play a red creep here just to guarantee that that's going to go down real fast because Debbie is going to come back next turn. So what do you play here? Do you play the, the Legionnaire or the, uh, the Legion Standard Barrier or the Bronze Legionnaire? 
Legion Standard Barrier is only going to get 4 damage this turn, and you're going to have to hope for a crit spawn before it actually deals more. I mean... Bronze Legion survives against creeps. And he chooses for Bronze Loser. Yep. I'm, I'm in favor of. Do you play the Maul here? <laughs> now, here's the thing. Darkseer could just surge that Vool over. That Vool Martyr would get quite a lot of value on the right uh, lane. On the right lane, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, chose to chooses search. to contest Midal, yeah. That is fair, because Midal is not totally lost. Yeah, of course. As long as you start clearing the wards. Totally lost. Start clearing the wards, it's, it's good. Ouch. Four damage. That's painful for the Bristleback. <laughs> So if you're playing as Vinny, what's what's your out here? Because your opponent has effectively won the first lane. You can play down a Debbie, yeah, but what are you gonna do? No accident to creep? The last lane? The the first lane. No. You've lost the first lane completely. Yep. So yep. you're one lane down, your opponent's fighting you in both the other lanes with equal amounts of heroes. How do you get out of this situation? You you set up for Tannis God's Wrath, right? You try to set up for a very strong Tannis God's Wrath on the on the on two mana later. Seems to be the plan. Bristleback is at eight now. With two wards hitting Bristleback, it's gonna be be at four again next next turn. The messenger Rookery comes in handy. So do you see the sky off or the Bristleback? I think you see the sky off. Bristleback. Yeah. Bristleback is not as threatening. That's a bit. Does he want to try to lock out the uh, Mystic Flare then potentially? Blue heroes are a bigger threat the later the game goes. Red heroes yeah, can do some things, but the cards they play are generally weaker yeah. compared to their buff yeah. buff bodies. Kind of like plays like Luna and Scarab, so Eclipse and Mystic Flare, it's going to be unlocked next to yeah. And because this guy rough survives, we're going to see a lot of oof. Fennel dies as well. That's unfortunate for him. Chooses not to TP. So, what do you do here as Vinny? There's nothing much I can do. Yeah, I think I'm you looking at this and I'm asking is you could compel and try to kill that Luna. You can't. But no. now that's not even worth it. You I might just want a card draw. Yeah, I think compel the Timbersaur to the creep, I guess. So it doesn't kill the creep. Yeah, it, it kills the creep. Kill creep. It kills the creep. Uh, one damage, two, three. Yeah, yeah, it does. No, actually it doesn't. It doesn't Four. kill the creep. Yeah, it's uh, armor. Because it reduces the armor by one. Oh yeah, that is true. Hey, that's a new Timbersaw. Oh yeah, yes, Timbersaw has a new uh, skill, right? Yeah, really, uh... just messes with math. Yeah. Yeah, man, this is <laughs> mathematics is so hard. Hey, do, with this change, do you no. like Timbersaw right now? I really like Timbersaw as a hero. No, no, you guys were right. Uh, Timbersaw the only reduces armors on its attackers, ah. and that creep is not attacking ah. Timbersaw. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We are we good in artifact. Look, new patch stuff. You can't blame us for that. Yeah, new, new patch, patch stuff. <laughs> we very. That's my excuse. Um, we... <laughs> so it seems like Vinny is just abandoning lane one. Seems seems fair, I guess. I'm not sure you can do anything about it. Yeah, exactly. You can't really do much. Uh, your black cards are mostly for value instead of uh, damage. Yeah. See a lot of gold mines. Uh, two paydays. There's really not much you could draw which would do something in this lane. Maybe if they drew Tyler Estate, they could block some damage, but with such a wide board, it's hard to block enough for it to matter. Oh, that home field advantage is going to play a large role. So keep the Debbie. Go straight for the Debbie! Oh, uh, damn. <laughs> very, very oh, sad. Damn. I have to imagine you probably play this conscript here. Yeah. Yep, you do. Oh damn, what what a one third roll. So look at look at look at the board. Uh all Candlelight's hero is very unhealthy. 
uh, Thunder Scott's next turn, it's very likely going to team wipe the board. Yeah. And team whites are what you're looking for, right? As a artifact player, with an entire team dead, it's a lot easier to just take a lane while there's no heroes. Yep. The enemy can't play any spells into a lane. Yeah, for one whole round, because if a team was wiped, you know, they're gone for one whole round. But interestingly, Vinny goes for the Skyraf instead of going for the Bristleback here. I think you go for the Bristleback. A Skyraf dying one turn later, it's so much more value compared to dying this turn. Are you maybe worried that. Oh, I put uh, Venno in the first lane, he somehow gets uh, intimidated turn in the lane, and then I'm just stuck there. Yeah. But do you do you play Venno in the first lane? Just for the Thunder Scott. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't think it's quite. Old. Okay, it depends whether you have the initiative. Yeah, exactly. If you have initiative, then I don't think it's worth it to play Venno in the first lane. Because you can't really do much. In the first lane, yeah, fair. So now you compel. <laughs> do you Mystic Flare as Candlelight kills the Turian? Uh, doesn't even kill the creep? Mm, I'm not seeing the value in that Mystic but, Flare. Yeah, there's nothing else that you can do. Rolling <laughs> dab. your cards. Candlelight is running out of cards. Okay. So I choose to go. take that. I'll yeah, just play a compel. On the he Zeus. Uses the weight of that lane. Yeah, so yeah you... you've got cards. You might as well play them. Yeah, this compel on the Zeus. Draws an intimidation. Seven that could be key. And if you're. Vinny, you're going to be really sad to see that cloak come out. Because right now, I believe it is only... Yeah, it's only Timbersaw who will get murdered by a Thunder God. Uh, that's an upkeep kill possibility on the Bristol back as well. That's a Venno Wars. Oh, back. yes, that's a Venno Wars. <laughs> I think you played Dabby, well, right? 20% chance. Oh, yeah. it chooses to play it mid? Maybe, Maybe looking guess. at that Debbie and saying that Debbie is going to die to one fourth of Eclipse <laughs> to reinforce this lane. Kenelag has two cards. Has two cards. Kenelag is running out of steam, but the steam that they have used might be enough momentum to carry them forward. What do you think of their chances of pushing, pushing this game to an end with Four cards in hand versus six. Eight, I mean, sorry. Uh, if yeah, that... I think I can like a draw to push it to the end. If that two cards is Eclipse, it's very likely. But we know it's. <laughs> but it's not. I yeah. see an Eclipse. Uh, he's got one more turn, right? This game isn't over. So do you turn, search a wall matter oh. or something? Like, or the Bronze Legion? Eh? To the last lane? Yeah, you might as well. Uh. You're overkilling this tower anyway. Yeah. And, and with this creep, you're never going to take the ancient fast enough. At least in not in three turns. So this sends the bronze legion over for backup. TPs out the dark seer. And any cast drawn for winning. Yeah, that's gonna be really helpful in the last. There you go, the bananas. On the stuff. Ouch. So it's a double kill. That's gotta hurt. Double kill. And Unfortunately, now... that Luna survives, which and it, she will be able to play a thunderstorm, which will be very upsetting for Vinny. Yeah, that's most of his board. Yeah, unfortunately, I think Candlelight is kind of running out of steam right now. Hmm. His hand is not great. Yeah. <clears throat> so do you know. do anything? As Vinny. Kill this guy off. Take the goal. Yeah, just drop the goal. Your but... deck has two vestures. <laughs> and as long as you lose as long as uh Ken Lai doesn't invest too much in the first lane, you're pretty happy with no grinding accident. this one out. Bam. Oh this is very painful. Four heroes date for candlelight. Very painful. Oh, that he might. And a payday, payday in hand. Oh payday. Four payday people. time. That will allow Vinny to go and go through his deck. Is. Gesture. So what? Already can... You probably want yeah. to blink dagger more. You you. Yep. I, that's oh, a vesture. That's a blink both. dagger. 
Why not both? Yeah. Yes. Says. <laughs> so that creep is going to die to the ward. So free up even more damage. Yep. Uh, and things are the, looking up for Vinny. What's the reason of putting Trian on the first lane? You can blink it if you need to. Uh, just in case somebody like Darkseer is in the first lane. Right, if you're worried about, say, ancient potential, more pressure, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's fine. When I mean, looking at first lane, you know, look at the. You should know that Candlelight doesn't really have any ancient potential because even his deck doesn't have much uh, late game push to do so, ancient. Yeah. So that vesture just saves this entire lane until a hero <laughs> comes out. Okay. It says, you want to come here, you're going to commit, and then I'll blink out <laughs> once you come in. Yeah, it's basically force Candle to commit extra stuff to the first lane, or else I'll drop my Tidal Height Alpha and two shots at tower. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's less likely to happen, but that is his only green hero, so... Yeah, he might as well cast it on the undead lane. Well, you yeah. can always blink it over, right? Yeah, so that's true. I think, I think you might want to just wait for the one lane which requires the Tidal Height and just send it when you need to. You've got the luxury of time now, <laughs> because that tower is not going to die anytime soon. So, do you add any cost here? <laughs> well, no. No, you do not. Don't do it. Don't listen to JS. Oh, it kills the docks here. Yes, but it also murders... It kills your whole board as well. No, nah, you, your, your two board. heroes survives. You push well, for... Almost your whole board. You push for... 8... 10, 10 more damage? 10 damage? Yeah, yeah. 12? Four, might be, 14 might with be the worth. two swords. Might be worth it. I don't think so. <laughs> Not a fan. Not a fan. Looks, looks okay to me. <laughs> so you might want to save those two of the attack items onto the last lane just to guarantee lethal. No, choose just to grab the blink and put it on the venom. Oh, and interesting. Is it the blink? Blink the venom? I don't like that play. You lock your lane. You lock your blue option. And it goes in the first lane, where I, at any cost will do a lot of work. I have to say I don't really like this decision. I'm not sure I like it either, but yeah. it could be a lot worse, right? Uh, you're still getting rid of the heroes in this lane, and you force a committal somewhere. And with the lanes as is, you already have the last lane with the two attack items. So is there any way for Candlelight to, to take the first lane? You just drop a bristle back there. Uh, Candlelight... How many charges is Clips on by now? It's turn 8. Luna has died twice, maybe. Yeah, died twice, so that's two, 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 tick, two ticks off. So there's like, what, 5 charge next to... So three, 5 charges. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 6 minus 2 is 4. So 5 charge next turn. Yeah, but you start with 3. You start with 1. You start with 1 charge. No, I mean 3 mana. 8. It's only been... It's only been six turns. No, seven turns, including turn three. For now, for this so turn. So now it's yeah, yes yeah, yeah. now. Yeah, so you drop the bristle back there. Hope it hits the tower, which is not going to happen. So if Luna has died twice, that means that yeah, you're right. Five shots this turn. And with those creeps, it's going to be a lot harder for that to work. <laughs> and the creeps block the bristle back. Oh, creeps block the bristle. That's real unfortunate. <laughs> That's wah, just wah. nasty. Still doesn't draw any eclipses. That that's funny. was a very nice martyr though. But it does have a thun it does have a thunderstorm, will clear up enough space for damage. Yep, can clear up but damage. Vinny has plenty of options of for removal, right? Could play the Thunder Hide or could just drop a rose leaf to block, intimidate the bristle back into another lane. Lots of options here. Because yep. if you intimidate the respect, it's a 50 50, it goes into the last lane where you're basically happy for Risa to be there. Yeah, thunder, thunderstorms come out. So, do you and drop the Thunder Height? Probably do three things you mentioned. Just yeah. go for the Thunder Height. <laughs> Boom. Do you have an answer? No, you're a red hero. You don't have an answer. My creep is a hero by itself. <laughs> A really bad hero. <laughs> really fat. Fat so, really like hero. It looks like looks like 
really can actually two shot this tower with the Thunder Height. Well, it depends on what the draws are looking, right? Uh, I suppose you could at any cost. Yeah. That would keep the Luna alive, though. <laughs> That would, would, would it kill the Luna? That, that's not going to kill the Luna. It wouldn't kill the Luna because... Yeah, it would yeah. kill the next the turn, but you kind of want to remove the Luna if you can play it at any cost. Yeah. Because at any cost will make Eclipse an awful lot better. That is true. And Eclipse Oof, is, is going to be a 6 charge next turn. And this whiteboard is making it very hard for Bristol to... Uh, do any work, but first lane is looking good for Vinny. I think you're pretty happy with the state of things if you're Vinny. So do you turn a storm here as candlelight? No. Mm. I don't think you need to. It kills two creeps. One of them, one of them is this arm. It saves one of your creeps. But you open up so much more damage. Yeah. Seven, seven Which more. is important with a lane with only two HP and a that's, one. That's like, that's like nine damage right now. Get rid of the messenger rookery. It's not gonna matter this turn, but it might later on. So it's interesting that the bot has flipped for both oh. first and second lane. <laughs> yeah, people wary of overcommitting and commit just too little. Uh, Vinny's got a loss in time, which will hurt a lot for Candlelight. <laughs> not being able to play any of those cards for I think you lost in time the rest of the game. You have to play loss in time. It hits so so nasty. much value. I think loss, loss in time, loss in time is is a, is a card that any lo yeah, locks the, the three cards. Oh, all, all the cards too. All they get is a heal. <laughs> and lots the items. To be fair, you're gonna be happy with the heal when the any cost comes down, so it's not total write off. I'm not so sure about that play though. It seems like dirty. Yeah, keeping Debbie there. I think you might want to keep initiative. Just to intimidate one of the guys up. The second Vesha. The first lane is second never dying. The it's, first it's never is... dying. Well, it can still die to a Bristleback who manages to get that two damage in. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> but it's very unlikely. Yep, and because since Vinny now has intimidation as well, so yeah, especially with intimidation. <laughs> I, I I think I think Vinny made the game a lot more harder by for himself by giving up the second lane and decide to go for the first lane. Well, you see your two vestures, you're feeling pretty okay with yourself right now. <laughs> the thing is, Eclipse will ruin that strategy with just the right uh, charges. Right, props, yeah. Yeah, so right. at any oh, cost, charges on the Eclipse. Drawn. Uh, Eclipse with... Uh, how many charges is that? You go for it. Vesture, 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 kill the Vesture. It doesn't happen. <laughs> oh... Okay. But you're 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 feeling pretty bad about this now if you're Vinny. It's precarious. It's very precarious situation. I think you at any cost here, do you? Just it, to kill all the creeps? And uh, the Darks here. And the, the Zeus no, props. that would kill the Vesture this turn though. Uh you have two Vesture. <laughs> maybe you're okay with You don't kill the Vesture? Because those the Vesture's both... come back. They'll yeah. come back. I think That's you fine. at any cost here. Just to clear the with four mana you're pretty happy about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good play. It leaves the Luna at one health. <laughs> this is it's such a, a weird game. Risky play. <laughs> it's such a and weird then next game. Next turn you can dimensional portal to block any damage. You can, you can, you can add any cost. <laughs> you intimidate the Luna. I guess you intimidate first. Then you add any cost. No, he oh, goes straight for the any cost. He just goes for it. What's Luna gonna do with one card in hand? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and for mana. Do you intimidate the Luna? Pushes for six more. Uh, Dimensional Portal is actually the same. Dimensional Portal does the same, but uh, you might want to keep Dimensional Portal just to prevent uh, creep what, somewhere. What, jump blocking? Yeah. I like the intimidation yeah. here. It locks. The... Yeah. Locks him out of blue. Oh, he goes for goes for the curve. <laughs> goes for the value curve. <laughs> Uh, right, with, with this, you place both the the tree and the dimensional portal, which is fine. I wouldn't play the D portal here. You you want If you want to play it safe, you don't play the D portal because the D portal could end up winning you the game. Or you're going to lose. Because, yeah, yeah, because if you don't have any blockers, you might just lose the game off that. You you, you, you get a draw. But you have two rush, 
<laughs> you have two vesture. Yeah, but you have one vesture at 4 HP with eclipses coming down. Not the best situation. Yeah, I, I guess you keep initiative here. And then you intimidate Luna like next turn. Looks looks like sounds like a much better play. That's a pretty good play. I like it. I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah, so So how does Candlelight win? I he can't. <laughs> you sure? It's two I damage. Don't... All he needs is two damage. If, if it's a Bristol back, Bristol back can't cast Eclipse. Yeah, but if Bristol lands in front of Zeus and you get a sick Eclipse. Time of Triumph doesn't do it. Oh shit! All he, candlelight needs is an eclipse and a bit of luck. No, he's gonna get intimidated by by. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. That's that's the Satan magician as well. Yeah. So. But that... intimidation is win. Yeah. <laughs> I, you what if it Luna? kills both the heroes? There's enough charges for it to kill both the heroes. Yeah. <laughs> it could happen with a sick. No, but in the... uh, intimidates him out. No Vinny chance. Knows. No chance. Vinny knows. Guarantees the victory here. Can light looking at their options saying I don't have any. What sort of BM do I want to do? Well Choose played. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, that, that lane one though, and that vesture. Vesture or P, vesture or P. Two vestures in the deck and two vestures played. Pretty strong.